Thanks for, for tuning in. Thank you very much. Um, really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a great Monday out there. You know, uh, I know liquor stores are open today, so uh, most probably most of you are happy. Uh, it's a great day for many people out there. You know, I, I was checking Twitter. Everybody's out there in the stores um, buying alcohol, and uh, yeah, they happy big time. They happy big time. Um, if you're tuning in for the first time, welcome to the sit down interview uh, with Ice Easy, where I get to sit down and talk to amazing creatives, um, get to interview them, you know, I know them better. And um, we do this every Monday, Wednesday, and every Friday. I'm always bringing out amazing guests, you know, all the time, I'm always bringing out amazing guests. And uh, yeah, today I'm bringing out another amazing guest, you know, uh, another powerful woman. Uh, another pe amazing personality, you know, because this is what we do. This is what this is what the sit down interview is for, you know. So thank you so much for tuning in. How are you guys doing? Um, what's happening wherever you are? I'm still waiting for for my guest. Oh, she's here. She's here right now. Let me bring her on board. Real much. Thank you so so much. Really appreciate it. The sit down interview has been going much well. It's been amazing, it's been beautiful, and um, I'm enjoying every bit of it, you know, I'm really enjoying everything that's been happening so far, and uh, I must say, I'm really grateful to, to everybody who always tunes in every time, you know, I, I can see regular viewers out here, people like um, uh, Yanda is out there, Tawan is out there, you know, these uh, are people who always tune in all the time, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, with that all said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please help me welcome another amazing guest, another amazing creative, another amazing woman. Uh, wherever you are, let's welcome Solarate everyone. Ta. Hey, Queen, good afternoon. Hi, guys. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm very good. I'm very good. Are you happy? Are you happy about the alcohol sales? I see you really I, on wine. <laughs> I'm actually having some whiskey in a champagne glass because <laughs> I know, I know you really pick on that. <laughs> <laughs> did you have did you have it on stock or you bought it today? Um I still have stock, so I'm gonna go when the heat yeah. died down, yeah. <laughs> hey <laughs> Nah, I, I, I actually retired in that department. Oh, I was I was I was going over you. Yeah, I retired. Twenty twenty I haven't touched nothing. I've been clean wow. since one oh. <laughs> what, yeah. when, I up, when I grow up I wanna be like you. <laughs> <laughs> so today for me is just another day, you know. Yeah, no, I can I can but I can see a lot of people are going crazy on the social media streets. Yeah, so they're even singing and singing. They've been yeah. for this day. And how have you been coping in this lockdown? Oh, you know what? Um, I think everyone in the lockdown has days where you're coping and then you have those days where things are just like, I'm sick of being locked in and then you just get some anxieties and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I've 
been really good, but I've had a few days where I'm like, mm, yeah. Yeah, it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a lot. At, at least, at least we're on level three right now. At least down to level three. So yeah, I'm hoping a lot of things are going to open up. I hope time, so. I, I really hope so. Um, but I'm a bit nervous. You know, when you yes. give people alcohol, if we're about to learn how South Africans are yeah. <laughs> after this. You know, hey, it's gonna be crazy. It, it's a social. Even even this thing of of schools opening up, you know, there's another problem. Mm-mm. That's a no, 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 no. Those, yeah, those I think like they could have, right yeah, you know what I think? I think they could have started with the working class before the kids because I think yeah. we can take better care of ourselves in terms of sanitizing and wearing masks the whole day. But Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for, for coming on board. Thank you so much for, for giving me your time. And uh, yeah. yeah. I, Thank you. I, I, I know the viewers are still waiting for, for what I usually call the biggest question. Who is Zola Radewe and what do you know? Okay. Um, Zola Radewe is number one, first and foremost, before anything, a mom. And um, yes. and then I just, I, I work in retail. So I'm a retail manager. So I manage like a few yeah. galleries out there. Um. And then I'm an influencer as well, a social media influencer and a businesswoman because I've got some side hustles. Some of them I won't mention today, but um, I'm a businesswoman. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll cheer on the sit-down interview. We, we always cry for, for exclusive, you know. <laughs> I always I'll cry for some, exclusive. I'll some bars. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, let, 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 let's sort of like go back to to your childhood. How was it? You know, how did you grow up? You know that. Oh, growing up, um, it was bliss. You know, I I had a beautiful childhood. I think, um, I grew up in a very loving family. Um, so it was very big because mom's side, dad's side, and everyone loved us. So it was like. It was beautiful, you know. My biggest worry was me being naughty. That was like the worst thing, but it was full of yeah. love. It was beautiful. Um, I was an introvert, extremely introverted, but my family understood that, so they never really forced me to do the dancing at family gatherings and the singing. They they understood. Hey, hey. And then um, <laughs> growing up, you know, uh, being a teenager, I was still a little bit of somewhat of an introvert, but because I had friends, you know, now, and you want to be cool, so I started coming out of my shell. And then after school, like after matric and everything, I then did promotions. So I was a promoter. And then that just got me yeah. completely out of my shell. And so now I just love people. I love interacting and meeting mm-hmm. new people. You were, you went from introvert to extrovert. Right? Imagine, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> and I, and, and where, where is the love for wine coming from? I can see you really big on wine, like you really big on that. You know what? My love for wine has like always been there. Um, I've always loved wine. Yeah. And then I was, yeah. I saw, um, how could I put this? I saw a market that needed more wine connoisseurs, you understand? So it hasn't been too long when I started being a wine um, influencer or like dealing in terms of wine and beverage, but because it's such a, there's so much space still to be taken up, um, brands receive us better, yeah. you understand? So it's kind of like, oh, we've been waiting for you. Where have you been? Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going over the comments. I can see strawberry flavor is saying, what's your feel about the Minister of Education um, addressing our nation regarding the opening of the school? What do you think about that? Um, strawberry flavor, I'll answer you as a mother <laughs> who is concerned, who yeah. did not give birth to sacrificial lambs, you know, like a, a lab rat. They're going to do tests on our children to see if they can open up the rest of the country. I feel like Absolutely no, 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 no. Um, and my household will still continue with online school because, as I said, kids won't understand why he can't touch his friend, why he can't have a bite of his friend's lunch. Yes, yes. And so it's it's your it's too it's too soon. 
we haven't drilled it into their minds yeah, yet. Uh, so kids are kids and they will touch and play and tease each other, tell each other the coronavirus and then they'll cry the whole day. So it's just, no, no I don't agree. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Um, uh, still uh, on, the no- on the note of motherhood, how's been motherhood? Oh, it's been a journey, but the most beautiful journey. I think um, I was afraid coming in to motherhood. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to flop. But um, I know yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds cliche, but you really grow into it. Like you learn your children. I mean, and as much as they're still learning me, I'm learning them. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful journey of growing together. But yeah, it's tough, guys. It's tough because sleepless nights when you're sick yeah. you're the doctor you're the driver you're the friend you're everything <laughs> oh that's too much and and how have, have they been coping in this lockdown situation um because i've got two toddlers my son is four and my daughter is three and their only concern is going back to preschool like every morning they're like are we bathing and going to school and i'm like no but um as the day goes on they yeah. and then they get busy around the house and they just get so naughty so i stay shouting the whole day and uh what's the news on the opening of preschools um, we haven't heard anything yet, but I think I will yeah. put them back. Even if they do decide this year to open, I think the little ones, it's still too little. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're too young for that. Yeah. All right. Um, going to, to to the influencer side of your life, when did this journey of being an influencer begin? And um, what have been the highlights so far? Okay, um, my influencing journey began last year, March. Um, I remember I was sitting at about 700 followers, 800, 700 followers when I shared with my friends that, guys, actually, um, I want to monetize or go deeper into this um, field. And so that's where I started. I, when I started, actually, um, I wasn't getting any payment or anything i started off as a reviewer so like you know with your beauty bulletin and your um brand advisors your ruby box and stuff like that so then they'll send you products for free and then i would review the products and share with you guys how i felt about the products and then i think that's how i grew my following created a certain niche if i can put it that way that we hear yeah so then um from there you guys came, my followers, like, uh, we grew, we grew, we grew. And then from the growing, I've now been able to monetize on my influence. And I think that's the best part. Like, um, cause I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I enjoy it. Genuinely. I enjoy sharing. As I said, I love talking to people and interacting. So also because I'm an open book. So I like to share a lot about my life and what I'm doing in my spare time. So getting paid for that just came as a bonus. I was like, "What? Well, I can get paid for my hobby and just, yeah. <laughs> That's the amazing part of it. Um, I, I can see a comment from Strawberry Favor. Uh, she's saying, uh, how does one become an influencer like you? Um, sorry, I can't see her comment. Uh, she's saying, how does one become an influencer like you? Okay, um... Mm, as I said, you can start as a reviewer uh, so that you can get like some sort of a brand profile, like build a profile, you know. So, Beauty Bulletin, Ruby Box. Um, I'll put it in the comments um, when you save the live. I'll add a, uh, a comment on the, uh, the, these agencies that you can follow them. Oh, the IGT. Stuff, yeah. So then you start there, uh, just build like a little brand profile. Also, if you don't want to start with those, um, you can st- start on your own. Like you could go to Clicks and buy your favorite products. If you're using Nivea Roll on, share with the people. Yeah. Tell us what are the benefits of using that product? What, what have you gained since using it? And that way you start. So now you've got like a little bit of a brand profile because you've got like some work on Nivea, you've done work on Pons or something like that, you know. And then so when you start, then, um, pitching to brands 
they there know that, okay, you have some sort of um, knowledge on how to influence, how to do flat lays, how to engage with your um, followers and stuff like that. So I would suggest that you either start yes. as a lead you are, or just start on your own and buy your favorite brands. Make sure you tag them, take cute pictures of it, tell us more about the products. And then from there, the sky's the limit. All right, all right. Um, uh, I want to ask something to the, to the viewers. Uh, I think your, your network is breaking at some point, so I would like to know from the viewers if you can still hear Zola or what, so that we can see what we can do, because I can see you keep breaking, but I can definitely hear you. Oh, okay. I want right. to something. Right. Uh, as, as we wait to, to, to hear from them, um, which platforms do you use to get campaigns? Um, okay, so I use BYC, I use humans, and then I use myself. So um, on my page, I have an IGTV video where I explain how I approach brands. Like I send them emails, yeah. I send them my rate card, I send them my um, Instagram engagement, um, my Instagram insights, I mean. Um, and then from there, they do yeah, 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 whether exactly. they want to work with me or not, yeah. So BYC, humans. I know there's um, another one, but then that one requires you to have more than 5,000 followers before you can download the app. Um, yeah, so those are the platforms yeah. that I use, but most of the time, I'm a little bit of a brave girl, so <laughs> so I drop. <laughs> yeah, so I drop and send it straight to the brand myself, like to the marketing team. I get, I inbox them on Instagram and ask for the email of um, the head of marketing. And then I just send them my proposal. Yeah, yeah. Have you managed to get campaigns through uh, directly contacting the brands? Yes, I have my first ever paid campaign. I approached the brand. I, I went straight to them and I was like, yeah. I know I was still doubting myself. So on my rate card, I charged them 70 rand <laughs> for post. And they were yeah. excited, you know, and then obviously you get to talk to other influencers and you realize that it's kind of like, you know, underrating myself. But my first ever campaign, I yes, went to a friend and I told them 70 rand for post and then they were like, three months a week. <laughs> and now I'm like, whoa, that's so little money and I have to create content, but it was a start. Then they, they, they paid exactly that, or they were like, nah, let, let us give us you more, exactly. uh, more than that, let us give you more than that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God. This ne your network is really breaking. Yeah. Yeah, now yeah. you're back again. Now you But I, I, I can see um Setun Konzo is saying we can hear you. So uh, I think that's good. As long as they can hear you, I think that's Oh, okay. That's the most important thing, you know? Yeah. All right. Um, moving on to still on the topic of uh, social media. What are your tips on growing your social media accounts? What? Sorry, I can't hear that. Uh, what are your tips on growing a social media account? Okay. My tips on growing a social media account is, number one, be authentic. You know, be real. Um. I, I, on my IGTV, I did explain a little bit of when I started, I lied about a certain brand. And it made me feel so horrible to know that yeah. people are going to go and buy that. And I came back and I was like, I'm so sorry for lying. So I think be as honest as possible. If the product is not good, just because they're paying you, they're not paying you to tell people lies. They're paying you to give an honest opinion on their brand. So... That's Transparency, um, engage with your, with, your, with your followers. I know it's difficult to respond to each and every comment, but don't always respond to the same people if you respond to comments. You know, today if I see that yesterday I, I responded to CC, but I didn't respond to Jessica, then I'll respond to Jessica today and another time. Just keep rotating. And when people say you DMs, try your best to respond to them because you don't want to seem like, you, you've already made it or whatever because um, your career as an influencer is solely based on your followers if they receive this content or not. So take care of your followers and they'll take care of you. I think that's the best uh, um, advice I can give is create beautiful that's content. Fair. That's fair. Engage with your uh, followers because they're not here because 
they have to actually engage with you and you can engage back. You're really not God, you know what I mean? Facts, facts, that's true, that's true. Uh, do you have a social media calendar or you, you just post anytime if you like post? I post anytime, but what I do do is I plan my feed because now I've got like certain themes that I go with. So I plan it, but like I'll post, maybe if I took a picture in the morning and I'm itching to really post it, then I'll post it a few hours later after I've like, you know, measured. I can't yeah, post yeah. immediately, but I do plan out my Instagram. I just don't have a calendar or unless maybe I'm working on a campaign and they give us guidelines. Yeah. They post like this at the same time. I'll have a calendar, but on a regular note, I just go with the flow. And, uh, and uh, do you incorporate your, your insights uh, when it comes to, to posting time to check when your audience is online and all that? Um, okay, so I do check my insights just for knowledge. Yeah. Um, for knowledge's sake, I oh, you, yeah. you don't use the insights though. Yes, I do use the insights. I always, uh, maybe once or twice a week, I'll check on my insights just to see um, what people don't really like and what they like. And, you know, uh, where I got the most likes, where I got the most views. But I don't really use the, the timestamps from my um, insights because I, I feel like, you know, I don't want to create. Uh, I don't know, like too curated because my page is already like um, sorted. I don't want to seem too curated, so I just post according yeah. to the times I am available to post that. Yeah. Um, Zola, can can you uh put your phone on airplane mode then join the lab again? Okay. Just I'll be back just now. Yeah. All right, all right, because I can see it keeps on breaking and the, the sound is shaky and all that. So uh, can you just refresh it real quick? All right. All right, um, as you can see, our case is having a bit of network problems. So I'll be waiting for her to come back so that we can continue with the conservation. But in the meantime, I'd like to find out how are you guys doing, what's happening, what's popping, wherever you are. And um, do we have any people out here happy for, for alcohol? Because I've been checking out the teacher streets, people being crazy about alcohol and all that. So um, I would like to find out if do we have any other people out here who, who are so happy for, for the alcohol sales coming back and all that. I hope you're good. I hope you're good. In the meantime, let me play Say Hala by SG Rolex. <laughs> Shout out to Tabani, shout out to Yanda Rose, um, shout out to Willin Dea, shout out to Mbali PK. Hey Mbali, it's been a long time. I'm good. Um, shout out to Lesejo. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much. Um, I think our guest is back. Let me try connecting here one more time.
All right. Um, if you're tuning in for the very first time, this is the sit down interview with Ice Easy, and it happens every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday here on my Archie TV. And uh, this show is brought to you by Nice Entertainment. And do this in the afternoons and all that. As long as you're creative, you definitely welcome to the sit down interview. Um, yeah, Zola is back. Let me let me connect her back to the live. What's happening, guys? What's happening wherever you are? Yeah. Now I hope it doesn't go back to bed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, same year, same year. Um, we were still on the on the social media topic. Yeah, uh, what are your tips about social media? Um, oh yes, I was giving you guys tips on social media. Remember to take your followers very seriously. They are here because they enjoy yeah. your content. So keep giving them great content. Don't be comfortable with staying in the same place. Continue to grow. I know I'm not a chef at all. I Like, I'm not a chef. But I've been yeah. uh, uh, some of my recipes and I've had a lot of followers asking me to at least start a cooking page or something. So the people have yeah. spoken, the people who... That our residents on this page have spoken so now I have to go back and think about what they want and try to give it to them the best way I can, you know what I mean? Because then they'll support and they'll continue being with me on this journey as I grow up. So just take care of your followers, guys. Please take care of those people. Um, are you active on YouTube? No, I'm not. Um, I want. Oh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be, but I got yeah. jitters. I got the jitters. I made videos. I went to the AMPD studios. We did everything, but I just, I don't know why. I just feel like I'm not yet ready for YouTube. So I'm on Instagram TV, trying my best, and then. When the content is like good enough, then I'll go to YouTube so that maybe I could then get my. So okay, um, thing about Uzala right is that I overthink everything. Yeah. Like I overthink everything, so I've overthought this YouTube situation. <laughs> <laughs> and I've come up with the solution that if I have in a big fan base or a big following on Instagram, when I then start my YouTube yeah. channel, I think people will then jump on the bandwagon and then I can get that thousand watch hours in a month thing. You know what I mean? So I'm just planning it out very exactly. well. <laughs> yeah, because the hey, monetization process is really hard. You know, where well, we do get 4,000 hours. YouTube is making love hard for us. Imagine, yo, and people, people, uh, these, you guys, your YouTubers, yo, you're doing the most, like, I, I respect South African YouTubers. They are trying their most to be creative, especially male YouTubers. And I'm not taking in anything away from the female YouTubers. It's just starting to feel like yeah. maybe we're all doing a little bit of the same thing. So that could be yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. a factor in terms of not getting subscribers and not getting views. It's because if I watched it on somebody else's page, it's kind of like... It's not necessary for me to rewatch it because I learned on the previous tutorial. So I think um, exactly. creativity exactly. needs to like be at an all time high. Yeah. Then uh, how has been your experience on Twitter? Um, my experience on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> Twitter. So with Twitter, um, I started um, my Twitter page when I was still in high school. So a lot of yeah. your local celebrities have blocked me because of who I was back then. <laughs> you used to you used to go slam on them all the time. Ish, you know, we used to have these Twitter roles and, you know, going in at people. And I really, I think, I think the reason I took a long time, like, to go back to Twitter was because of that, you know. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a very, it's a very dangerous playground, that one, because it can either make you or it can break you in, like, 
split seconds, you know what I mean? Hey, baby. So, yeah. They really block you out there on Twitter. Yeah, you, know, you need to be careful with what you're tweeting. And also, um, careful not to just become like a page that only posts when you're working with brands, you know, because then it feels unreal. People don't know what you like and what you find funny. So, hey, Twitter is... Because now, just in case now what I find funny might get me, like, banned from working with certain brands because they're like, mm, she doesn't align with our brand. Yeah, yeah. So Twitter, you, know, you have to tread very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm finding, it, I'm finding it dope now. I think um, I've followed the right people and I've got the right people following. Yeah. So it's, like, growing together. It's sound like a community that I've created. Yeah, and uh, have you been monitoring the um, police brutality situation that's been going on on Twitter uh, in South Africa and America. Oh, you know that one. Eh. Oh, it's such a difficult um, situation because the police, what they're doing to us is absolutely inexcusable. Like, you cannot say yeah. you're doing your job by killing me, you understand? And also the fact that we as races so as the superior race that she would rather like exactly if i was with the white girl they would ask her rather what she's doing there she's not supposed to be there give her a warning yeah. so with me they've gunned me down immediately which is kind of like it's inexcusable it's so wrong i'm, I'm very deeply touched i have a lot of um, opinions on that because also yeah, I yes, am yes, an yes, African yes. and a pan-Africanist. And also I've noticed that people are busy telling us that the South Africans are focused on Black Lives Matter in America while we're also dying here in South Africa. And that is not the case at all. Black Lives Matter across the globe. That's so true. if our brother dies in America, no. his life matters. Our brothers who died in South Africa, their lives matter. Do not downplay Black Lives Matter to be an American movement. All lives matter across the globe. Exactly, exactly. You know, uh, I, I, I didn't think it was that serious. I, I knew it was happening, you know, but until I saw these videos on Twitter of, of looking at the situation happen, um, police, you know, killing people live, live, yo, it really went down. You know, Am really I breaking down. again? Nah, nah, I can hear you. I can okay. hear you properly. Okay. All right. I'm not sure on the viewers' side. Uh, can the viewers still hear me and see me properly? I hope so. Yeah. Can you please confirm, guys, if you can hear us properly? Because, yeah, last time at some point, I was the only one who could hear you and that. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, nah, it was sort of like refresh it. Yeah, I hope it's still fresh from the refresh yeah. um it's 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 the youth uh, month uh we we cannot forget about that mm -hmm. it's really the youth mm -hmm. month and uh, it's the first day of the youth month and uh, i would like to to find out what it means to you but oh oh first of all this question uh according to you a youth is someone who's around what age between what age is it exactly? um i think according to you <laughs> A youth member is somebody <laughs> probably from 13 years to 30 yeah. years. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. 36. I think up until 36, you still considered part of the youth. Yeah, because I, I had a disagreement with someone who was like, he's, he's 25, he's no longer. I'm like, oh, Bro, no, he's nah. still <laughs> young. He's still here with us for a long time. <laughs> Yeah, so so I was like, okay, cool, bro. I'll ask someone on the live. I'll ask my guest today to clarify. Let's see who's telling the truth. All right. Um, going back to it. Uh, what do what, what what do you take this youth month for when it comes to being a youth and all that? And uh, what's your advice to other youths out there? Youth month in South Africa is it it means a lot to me because. Um, there were people who sacrificed their lives, who died for a big okay. cause, which is education, you know, and education without barriers, without being limited because of our race and things like that. I was able to go to school, finish school, 
and yeah. go to varsity and start a career. So if it wasn't for them, none of that would have been possible for me. So it means an absolute lot. It was a painful sacrifice. You know, those sacrifices that really pain you, but they were necessary because they would create yeah. a bigger, yeah, like a better playground for us. As, uh, the, yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Yeah. And also, um, this All right. month, uh, um, this youth month falls it shares with um, pride. So I oh yeah yeah I yeah. think yeah. we're going to a good time. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like now yeah. we we're educated in accepting other people as they are. So I think it's a beautiful month to educate. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, to the viewers, if you may have any questions for Zola, please um, drop them in the comments right now, or you can use the question box ne next to the comments box. Then uh, we'll do a Q&A shortly. Um, in the meantime, let me go over the previous comments. I can see um, Jessica is saying, Hi, is easy, okay? Yes, Queen, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Yanda Rose is saying, yes, I can. Uh, I think she's replying to to your question whether yes. they can date or not. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, I can see some people are just joining right now. Um, if you just joined right now, this is the sit down interview with Ice Easy, and uh, I'm out here with my guest, amazing guest, um, Zola Radebe, and uh, she's out here sharing amazing things with us, um, including a love for wine. Uh, being an influencer, uh, motherhood, and uh, social media. So if you may have any questions around those topics, uh, please make sure to drop them in the comments right now. All right, uh, back to you, Zola. Uh, what's next? What's next? What should we expect from the end? Uh, from now onwards, any exclusives or something like that? Hey, <laughs> so I'm going to drop like an exclusive. Um you know, what I'm yeah, saying to uh, you earlier yeah. on about respecting your followers and taking them into mind because they create, they, they open doors for you. So, uh, my favorite, yeah. I'll be working with my most favorite ever wine brand, which is Rupert and Watts. Yeah. So, today we're finally opened uh, phase stage three. So, you guys will be seeing a lot of content from. Yeah me and my favorite brand. I was so excited because honestly with Rupert and Watts Child, what I did was just, you know, create my own content. And it wasn't even, I wasn't really looking for their sponsorship or anything like that. I, I just really enjoyed being my favorite. Yeah. So what I did is I tagged them, obviously uh -oh. I was sipping some of it. And they were like, girl, where have you been? Thank you so much for sharing. Hey. And I'm like, you understand how important followers are because they engage and the brand will watch that engagement happen. So they were like, okay, exactly. we can work with it because then they receive the brand well from her. So that's it. You go be working with hey. Ethan Rothschild. I'm so excited. There'll be some giveaways that I'll be doing. I think you will love alcohol as a giveaway, right? What? I think people would enjoy getting alcohol as a giveaway. So I will be doing some giveaways. Def definitely. Yes. Yes. The engagement is going to be crazy. It's going to be mad crazy. Trust me. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to surprise a few of you guys with some wine deliveries and stuff like that. Yeah. But also. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, I'm going to venture into a little bit of beauty. So I've enrolled at beauty school. As soon as we can go back to school, I'm going to be a student again. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Doing, uh, what, what were you studying for? Um, human resource management. So I completed April this year. But we were under lockdown. So <laughs> I didn't have a ceremony. Hey, she missed your graduation thank you so much hey hey lockdown is really messing up a lot of no. things you know, we had it's up a lot a lot of things in your at least the qualification is still there lockdown didn't take that much away <laughs> yeah yeah but the same thing is that a lot of jobs are, are, are getting retrenched and all that mm. 
I'm cutting a lot of jobs out there, you know, it's going to be crazy. The advice that I would then give in terms of, you know, job losses is learn to work with your hands. I mean, yeah. if, if you can do plumbing, if you can learn how to be a plumber, I promise you, you will not go broke. Like your family will not go hungry because these are services that I needed each and every day, every way. So learn more skills, you know, like more skills, handwork, things that you can physically be there to do. It doesn't all have to be accounting and fancy stuff. I think we need to start um, preparing ourselves for that greater battle where we're all going to be at a loss of a job, especially those who are under yeah, yeah, for this. Crazy. Yeah, how do you begin to apply for a job now? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I can see one of my next kids is also watching right now. I, I won't mention the name, obviously, <laughs> but I can see him is out here. And I'll be having him later this week, definitely. Uh, most probably on Friday, yeah. But I won't mention his name. Uh, Hi, Anonymous. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I think the seat we, we lost a lot of comments when I sort of like started the live. Yes. Right? There were a lot of comments. Yeah. So hey, most of the viewers are out right now. Most of the viewers are out right now. But um I think this is it. I think is this is it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for Thank you so much for having time. me. Um, thank you so much for coming out here and talking to us. It's really an honor. And uh, we really want to see you prosper and everything. And uh, hey, I, I wish I was still drinking, you know, for, for that giveaway. We're going to do a young I was gonna be... <laughs> Cheers to the followers. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm just an H2O boy, you know, drinking H2O all the time. So, <laughs> I think it's nice. That's it. <laughs> So yeah, um, you all got the exclusive. If you're watching this and you love wine, um, Zola is doing a giveaway soon, 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 soon. So make sure to follow her, stay on her, on her feet. Make sure to, to jump on the contents and get that wine for free. Yes, so, get that out. Speck for free, speck for free. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, you can say it right now. So at least you can get it from her for free, you know. Yay. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sorry? Which, which brand are you drinking right now? Um, right now I'm not drinking wine. I'm having whiskey, <laughs> Johnny Walker Gold, yeah, in a champagne glass because I'm that girl. Um, I can see San Elisi where saying I'm late. Yeah, I'm late. late. Um, all right. Uh, you said you're gonna share the links to. Yes, I will. Um, that in the, the comment the, section. The influencer platforms. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Your network is breaking again. And then guys at the end now. <laughs> oh snap! Oh snap! All right. Thank you so much, Sola. I really appreciate it. Bye, guys. All right, um, that was Zola Ratebe, uh, another amazing woman. Uh, unfortunately, the network was really acting up on us, but it was a great chat, you know. Please make sure to, to follow her and uh, make sure to jump on that uh, wine contest to get free wine, you know, it's, it's back. It's back again for free. So please make sure, go to her feed, um, jump on that, get free wine, just like that, you know, alcohol is back. and. She's giving you alcohol for free, so don't miss that, you know. Um, if you just tuned in right now or you're tuning in for the first time, uh, this is the sit-down interview with Ice Easy, where I get to sit down and talk to amazing creatives and get to know them better, uh, know what they do and share whatever they do with the world. And uh, we do this every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday in the afternoons. So please make sure to tune in on Wednesday, same time, same place. Uh, just a different guest, another amazing guest. Thank you so much for tuning in. I uh, really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the day. Goodbye.